Hello and welcome to Universe Sandbox. Now I got this off the Steam Summer Sale just recently, I think uh, two or three days ago, I forget. But anyways, I just wanted to go through this game quickly and see what this was all about. I'm just going to go ahead and do the introduction. I might try to do a couple other simulations and see how it really plays out. So we're going to go ahead and click on this right now. So welcome to Universe Sandbox. Click the highlight arrow to continue. This is our solar system. This simulation features the largest 32 non-moons. Okay. So you can zoom out. Roll the mouse wheel down to zoom out. Uh, roll the mouse wheel up to zoom in or press the W key. I think the other one was S. So we could do that. Zoom out. We could click and drag apparently. Yeah. Uh, click the arrow key, okay, and this is Saturn and it's 60 plus moons. Click the arrow. Click on any moon to select it and show its properties. So let's go ahead and click on a random moon. Which one should we pick? It's this one. Okay, so I guess we pick the moon right there. And try zooming and clicking on different moons. Okay, so let's click on some random moons and say we're lost. We could press the home button. Actually, let's go all the way over here and say we're lost. So, whoa, that, that's pretty. Uh, say we're lost and then we click home. So it should take us back to Saturn. Yep, we're back over here. And then click on the arrow key. Now let's show all of the tools. So click on the arrow key. Bam. We got some tools over here, so you can hover over and it'll give some tool tips. So let's see, color mode. Change the color of bodies based on their mass or velocity. And I guess uh, each one gives a little tool tip. What's this? Scale width of your view. Okay. Now let's see. Let's try our chart mode. Click on the chart button. Chart mode lets you... <sighs> that yawn came from nowhere, excuse me. Wow. Well then. Chart mode lets you arrange the bodies of any simulation by their different properties. Click on live mode button to resume the simulation. Alright. So... What would happen to Saturn's rings if Neptune was too close. Click on the arrow to find out. Alright, so there's Neptune and it's interacting with Saturn's rings and it should also be affecting the moons as well. Yes, there we go and see... Oh, we had a collision! Another collision right over there. Neptune is absorbing the moons and adding to its own mass. So here we go. Do we have another collision? It looks like we did. It was on the other side, so I can't quite see. All right. So let's see. Does it have a stable orbit around? Uh, not too sure. Well, it's, it's going around. It's messing out with the Saturn's rings, and it has impacted with a few moons. Now, Neptune is collecting a few debris right there. So let's see. Let's change the color mode to better see the different speeds. Okay, so acceleration. Select velocity. It wants us to select velocity. Click on the arrow when you're ready. Okay. So I guess red it means it's moving quickly. I can only assume. It would be nice if there was a little chart showing what the uh, different colors were. But I'm assuming that green is slowest and going into red is the quickest. So let's click that. These are the nearest 300 stars to us. Click the arrow. And this is our Milky Way galaxy and other nearby galaxies. Roll the mouse wheel down to zoom out or press S. 
Alright, so I guess that was the basic introduction, so try fun things to do from the main menu to learn more. Alright, so I guess there's uh, different things to do, fun things to do, we could do that. Or I guess we could make our own simulation, so uh, let's go to create a simulation. And it is barren land right now, so let's go ahead and go into the edit mode, see what's here. Uh, normal tool, hand tool, box select, add tool. Let's go ahead and add a sun. Uh, Alpha Centauri. Now, how do we know if this is centered? Hmm. Cause I wanna, I wanna place this. There we go. I don't know. And I guess this means that this is the central object and let's see what we have here oh there's the other uh, sun so uh, the I, I believe these are a binary system right here so they orbit each other and I think Alpha Centauri is a little bit bigger than our sun while uh, Alpha Centauri A is a little bit bigger and Alpha Centauri B might be a little smaller. I don't quite remember. Well, well then. We're going to go ahead and I don't even know the distance. Uh, I wish it was more clear on the given distance. Oh, wait, total... I'm just looking at the parameters to the right over here and uh, I got no clue what it means however we're gonna go ahead and put it right there I got no clue if that's the proper distance but we're gonna run the simulation and see how this goes we're gonna go ahead and change this So this should make it go a little bit faster, right? Um, one hour. There we go. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So I guess uh, depending on how many things we have, I guess we could keep on adding things uh, as the simulation runs. So let's go ahead and add uh, Jupiter uh, right there. And then we'll add an Earth just for the kicks right over there. And Mercury. Have two of Mercury's. Um, what else can we have? Are these comets? Objects. Uh, let's have a little ball over here. Bam. I don't even know what I'm doing. So there's a bunch of balls. Balls everywhere. Alright. Well then. This is, oh, there's a football going all the way out there. Jupiter's flying off. It flung off, uh, I forget which star I put it on, but it's going. Mercury 6 is flying as well. Oh, it launched another football. So there's some gravitational slingshot action right there. Oh, there we go. Another football flying out. Football 17, 34. There's football 10 going out there as well. Hmm. Well, this is probably something I'll keep playing around with. See what this is all about. Maybe I'll go through the uh, other things. And what's this gravity constant? Okay. Well. What does this do? Oh. I guess uh, this makes it. What, what did I press? Real time? Is that real time? Is this really real time right here? I'm not too sure. Maybe I should go through the other fun things to do. Because uh, I think uh, those count as extra tutorials. But we're going to leave it at that. This is a pretty interesting piece of software. And I think I'm going to go ahead and just experiment. See what I can make. See what I can do or modify. And then once I'm more fluent in this. Maybe I'll come back to it and... Do a couple simulations here and there just for the fun. 
And I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. And of course, until next time, I'll see you guys later.